So I've drawn up my plants and I'm going to paint in the lightest of the colours first before I start thinking about any textures. So it's the same principle that I used on the practice leaf designs that we did last week. So I'm using the pale yellowy green first in all the areas that I can spot which I think are this colour. And then I'll go on to another green. I'm going to go leaf by leaf and any lifting out of colour I can do on each leaf before it dries. So I'll demonstrate firstly on this one. So painting the whole leaf in and then whilst that's still wet I'm going to get a tissue and lift out the colour on where I consider it to be the lightest of the areas where the light is just catching as per the practice piece from last week. So I'm going to go leaf by leaf and do that technique. So now I'm going to turn my attention to the container. So again, I'm using the same principle. I'm going to wash over with a soft colour first. And I'm going to pick out a few of the highlights with the tissue. I should be using a slightly larger brush here. But I can't find one, so I'm just using this one fine as long as I keep it wet, keep it moving. Okay, so there's the head part and uh, highlights to the head of this are just above the brow of the pot face here and then you've got something in front of the nose, top of the mouth. The mouth might be a bit lopsided there. Uh, seems to be like a reflection here. Again, these will be shaped later when I add more, uh, another layer of colour to it. Um, I'm going to put in a bit of shadow underneath the pot. Just mix up a browny, bluey brown colour there. So there's the base of the pot. I'm not going to do the table just yet. I'm just going to let that dry first because I need there to be better edges on it. Now I'm going to put some colour into this uh, table background, uh, which is wood. So again, we've just got a basic wash it's like a reddish wood really a wash in first the top section here i'm going to um create like quite a flat color um i haven't decided what color yet i'm going to think about the colors that i've got in the piece um before i decide which color may work best um so for now i'm just concentrating on the the table itself So now I'm going to do some stenciling and um, what I've done is I've, uh, the, the drawing that I did was from a trace from, from my uh, original photograph. So when I traced it, I've actually used that trace now to create my little mask for certain key leaves that I want to stencil. 
so it just made it a bit easy to use that because I knew that everything was going to be in the right place. So I've mixed up fairly strong paint and I'm just using tissue to stencil through the dark marks. Uh, reason for the stencil is so that we have a nice mottled natural looking marking and not a flat paint mark that you would if you were just painting on with your paintbrush. So we're trying to create a naturalised effect. Okay, so the stronger the paint is mi mixed up, the, the stronger the marks that are going to be made. But you can always just keep looking and checking to see what that looks like. So just keep going until you've got the effect that you want. So I'm just adding a little dry brush here just to kind of define those edges a little bit without them being too sharp. And then my next stage is going to be adding a little bit more shadow to parts of the leaf um, to give it um, a little bit more of a 3D quality. So I'm going to work over here. So what I'm doing to add the shadows is to paint in the leaf that needs to be a little darker, for example, this one here. So I'm painting to achieve that edge, that difference between the two leaves. But then what I'm doing is I'm washing over what's already been painted very loosely. And then I'm going to take off again the same way as we did on reducing that tone there just sucking out some of that paint on the highlight side so I'm retaining this soft look to it so there's a bit of a shadow here so just as an example again so shadow goes in this shape here but then it looks really harsh here so I'm going in with my tissue and lifting that out so I'm going in section by section looking for the shadows but then lifting out so it's the same techniques as we would normally use but instead of having hard edges I'm trying to replicate some of the texture of the plant. That's the reason for this. So we're just playing around with textures as opposed to creating hard photographic lines. We're going for a softer look and something that's more representative of a, of a leaf marking. That's the logic to what we're trying to do to remind ourselves what we're trying to do. Okay, a bit more shadow here again. Again, looks hard, so let's take out those little highlights. Just looking more soft and naturalised. Now I'm going to put the coloured background in. Um, a bit scary, but uh, I think it will make it look quite interesting with the the contrast. So I've gone for the red complementary to the greens, and I'm going to just work and work until I've co covered the background and the colour may change very slightly as I'm going through but I'm quite happy with that 
so it's like colouring in now so that's easy so as long as you keep the paint wet you should keep this going without any need to mask it off any further so getting this colour in now just starts to give you a feeling for the balance of it all how it's looking and then we'll go back into the main subject in the bars and complete that So now the work is dried again, I'm going to uh, put some more shadows into the leaves just to differentiate between foreground and background. Again, using the same technique as before. So taking a piece of tissue and softening some of those harder lines. using a fan brush here just to put some extra lines in and then finally I'm going to complete the the base on the bars just putting just making it quite subtle really just putting the shadows underneath the features and then finally I'm going to finish off with a few pencil marks So finally I'm going to finish off with some pencil marks, so finer marks towards the back, a mixture of colours. This represents the wooden surface. And then some larger mark making towards the front.